Hi everybody, today I'm doing a small video for you to help you downgrade your iPhone from version 2.2 to version 2.1. Um, in the next few minutes, I'll walk you through step by step, and in the video, I'll show you how to actually do this. Remember, remember to visit aramistech.com for more information to download the firmware 2.1 and the quick pawn program you need, which uh, it's going to help you activate the version 2.1 once you do the downgrade for it. Okay? Um, if you want, leave me some comments on the website so that uh, others can see if it worked for you, and that way, if you found a better step than the one I'm showing you here, then please share it with all of us. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching my videos. All right, let's get started. Um, first, let me show you that the iPhone I'm using here has version 2.2, and we're going to go to General, About, and uh, right down here, you can see that I have version 2.2 on this iPhone. Okay, so we're ready to start. Let me go back to the main screen real quick here. Now, before we continue, remember to go to aramistech.com to download the 2.1 firmware version that you're going to need to downgrade the iPhone. Uh, go ahead and download it, save it to some place like your desktop where it's easy for you to find, and uh, open up iTunes. To do this downgrade, you don't have to change your iTunes version or anything like that. You can use the latest version that you have installed. Um, let me show you also here that on iTunes, I also have version 2.2 okay so it shows you that my phone has that version on there now go ahead and on your keyboard go ahead and press the shift key hold it down and while you're holding that shift key you're gonna go ahead and click on the restore button now it's gonna bring up a window uh, right there and now that window that comes up should show you the firmware that you have uh, downloaded in this case I'm gonna go here to the firmware and I have the 2.1 I downloaded I'm gonna click on that then I'm going to go ahead and choose open and it's going to go ahead and, and start extracting the software as you can see here in iTunes give it a little bit so it downloads it, you know, it extracts the software to start the installation and now it's preparing the iPhone for the upgrade as you can see here the iPhone is going to reboot and it's going to show you the Apple and it's going to start now the recovery mode process and on the back on the computer itself you will see that it's going to be uh, preparing iPhone for uh, restore. Uh, leave it restoring because it's gonna take a little while. Um, I'm gonna come back in a few minutes to show you. Uh, after this is done, it's gonna give you an error, okay? Error 1013. Uh, don't worry about that error. I'm gonna show you in a second what to do when this is done, okay? So I'll be back in about a second and show you the rest of the video. One last thing I wanted to mention before I uh, continue here is that while the iPhone is restoring, you will see that it has the apple and it has a little circle swirling around so it's doing the restore process and it's putting the firmware back on there okay the restore process is about to be finished and um, remember after this is done we're gonna ignore the error that's gonna come up and we're gonna use the windpond program to actually um, you know activate the version 2.1 this shouldn't avoid any warranty on your phone since you're not jailbreaking the phone, you're just returning it back to a previous version. Um, and you have to activate it with iTunes and your AT&T account uh, so that it works correctly, but um, this actually will let you restore it back. Uh, once the error comes up, you will go ahead and, and do the uh, restore process. Remember the quick pawn program, you can download it at rmstech.com also along with the firmware so that you can uh, go ahead and, and get all these steps together. Okay, at this point we get the error, which is the 1013 error on the screen. And uh, all you have to do now is you, we're going to ignore this error. Uh, you're going to click OK on here. And uh, we're going to leave that there. And it's going to come back on the screen where it's going to tell you that the phone um, is detected it's still in recovery mode. Just click OK, ignore that. And uh, you're going to see the phone. And the phone's going to have the uh, recovery mode still on there. At this point, we want to activate version 2.1. It is already installed and it's recovered, but you know, for some reason, it just doesn't let you boot up into it. So when you run WinPawn, which is a little program I'm going to show you now, it will allow you to follow a step before you even do anything and it'll actually activate version 2.1. So we're going to go ahead right here and we're going to um, open the screen that I have here. And here I have the Quick Pawn program, okay? Now with the quick pawn program, all you have to do is just double click on it and it's going to give you a message. And you'll see it in a second, it's going to pop up 
and when it shows you this before the program's open, before it opens up, it's going to give you this uh, little warning or a message that's going to tell you that before continuing, please hold down the home button and the power button for 15 seconds. Then press the power button for two seconds to reset your device. At this point, we're ready to activate version 2.1. So let me go ahead to the iPhone here and show you how we can do this. So basically, uh, hold the phone connected, keep it connected to the computer, and we're going to press the home button and the power button together. Hold it down for 15 seconds or so, so the phone powers off. Once it's turned off, let go of both buttons, okay? Then press and hold for two seconds the button on the top, let it go, and you're going to see it's going to take a little bit to boot up, but once it boots up, the iPhone should already come up with version 2.1 on there. Now all you have to do is open your iTunes and activate your phone so that it, it set it up as a new phone and it actually works on the, uh, you know, all the options are open because right now it's actually going to show us it's locked. So let me wait a second for it to boot up. And there it goes, it's about to come up. So we're ready to go now. Now we're going to go here to the Windows machine here and we're going to click OK to the uh, pop-up we had before okay and then WinPawn opens up this program is to jailbreak your phone uh, but at this point we don't want to do that we just want to uh, close this here and uh, minimize here and now it should show uh, on, on iTunes the program itself ready to go and my iPhone would show as activated so all I need to do now is open it up dismiss it and uh, my phone's up and running. And to show you that it already has version 2.1 on here, I'm gonna go again to the settings. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. And I'm gonna go to settings. And we're gonna go to general. And about. And we're now at version 2.1. So uh, you definitely can get version 2.1 on this phone, as you can see here, that it's already uh, um, restored back on this. So all you need to do is follow those steps and you're good to go. Uh, if you're going to jailbreak your phone, remember that that's going to void, void your warranty. So I don't know if you want to do that, but I definitely will tell you that if you do do it, you're going to open up a bunch of applications that you can use on your iPhone that normally Apple does not uh, allow. Uh, but definitely this way you can go back to version 2.1. The phone is not jailbroken in any way and the, it activated version 2.1. Let me know if this uh, tip helped you guys out. And uh, if you found any other way to do this other than this, please share it with us. I put it on, uh, on my blog at aramistech.com. And remember, go there to download the firmware and the uh, WinPawn program so you can complete this process and uh, do the, the, the restore back to version 2.1. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching my videos.